here we are with call of the night episode 13 so yeah if you like what you see leave a like subscribe or comment let me know what you think and with that let's get this episode final episode oh i don't want it to end i need more already Nothing not playing games again Um, that was very interesting. Is she sensing something maybe about Ko? Or maybe she's worried about when Ko told her about Anko? <clears throat> that maybe she's worried and maybe ha wants to go to the other vampires? To discuss that matter, maybe with them? Like, hey, there's someone that can kill vampires, apparently. <clears throat> hmm. I guess we will find out, right? But very interesting. When I saw this scene here in the opening, I at the beginning I thought that all of the side characters will would come together and hang out or something, right? But nope, they didn't. Except like the vampires and Akira and Nazuna and the other guy, I forgot his name. <clears throat> but for the most part, they were always like split up. Damn the music. Mysterious vibes. <laughs> Going to her house. <laughs> what the fuck? What is this? What the fuck? Yeah, right. She ripped her hair out, Jesus. <clears throat> what the fuck? Yeah, right. I mean, could be, maybe. I guess that makes sense too. Oh, hello. <clears throat> hmm. It's a trap. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Didn't expect that twist. <sighs> <clears throat> the 
that's a twist I didn't expect it to see here. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Not really. Oh. That's what's what was on her mind. <laughs> the table did nothing wrong. Damn, holy hell. <laughs> Okay, some information on this at least. Oh, oh nice touch. Can't see a reflection again, or his reflection either. <clears throat> okay, that's very interesting. Yeah. Oh, she wants to suck. He, he, he. <laughs> yes. I guess he likes it. Yeah, we saw that. What was that? Oh? Oh, you. I thought I. No, you. <clears throat> oh. 
<laughs> she sent the picture. Oh my god. Ooh, nice picture. Denied. <clears throat> but he's not attracted to you. But how can he fall in love like right now? Does she have something special? <laughs> Open minded. Really? <laughs> Show me. But is this really how we do it here? Here we go. That's what she did with others, I guess. It's not about gender or anything, it's about the person. Those tea slapping. Damn.
It looks so good. Okay. Are they talking about love? Okay. Because she talks so much about love. Now she's completely embarrassed. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, just no. Yeah. <clears throat> oh yeah, this is still the same night, right? Uh oh. Woo. Who's this? Why should he? Oh, because of that. Oh. oh, where they first met, and Ko comes now from the side, right? There he is! <laughs> That's such a nice twist, man. The beginning. Just the other way around. Oh, this is perfect. <laughs> oh, open hair. <clears throat> Oh. Oh. <laughs> I need a season two. <laughs>
<laughs> yes. <laughs> Romantic overload. <laughs> Yes! Oh my god, I need a season two! Give it to me! I need it now! Fuck! <laughs> uh -huh. Okay, that was the episode. Let me know what you think, but... <sighs> Man, this... was perfect. In my opinion. This was completely perfect. The whole anime, in my opinion, perfect. Awesome, stunning visuals, great characters, interesting stories. You have this vampire um, genre, theme, whatever you want to call it. And instead of going with the normal tropes, they bring in twists, right? <clears throat> and they put stuff in your face that you probably never ask yourself. Like, <clears throat> as example, when Nazuna said she couldn't see herself in a mirror. Like, I guess that's like a minor thing, right? But you never thought about that stuff, right? That a vampire probably can't see themselves in a mirror and that they might want to, right? But aside from that, you have like <clears throat> the whole stuff how the offspring works, right? That it's not about... You just bite someone, bam, vampire. No, it's about love and all that stuff. So there are many twists and everything that was just perfect, I would say. <clears throat> In that regard that they bring so much new stuff into this genre, right? And interesting things. <clears throat> and it's also not like, oh, how to kill a vampire. You just give him some um, garlic or some silver and he's dead, right? It works differently, it seems like. I mean, we don't know what happened, how she killed him. Um, but let's get to the episode. The beginning, very interesting, mysterious, right? You don't know what exactly is going on, what Nazna wants to do, if it's, if she maybe senses something about Ko, if she wants to go to Ko, if she wants to go to the other vampires, why won't she, if she goes to the other vampires, why does she want to go to the other vampires, right? <clears throat> and then you get to the other scene with, um, Atsuka, right? And immediately you know something is weird right because of how affected the others are towards her right you don't know what is going on is that her family are those strangers they are way too much in love with her um <clears throat> and it gets curious right and then comes the reveal it's not even a girl it's a boy <laughs> it's a trap um and there's more revealing stuff right she says herself or he says himself <clears throat> that vampires do basically the same as humans, right? They just live. They don't know everything about vampires because they just live. They don't know how everything that vampires do work, right? Which is, again, a very interesting thing because in other media, you have vampires and they basically know like the in and outs, right? What they can do, what is their weakness and all that stuff. But here it seems way more realistic that you become a vampire, but how should you know what your weakness is, right? Maybe someone else could figure it out and tells you, but overall, how would you know what your weakness could be, right? <clears throat> if like garlic is enough to kill you, every vampire that would come in contact with it would be dead. So there would be no one to tell or silver bullets unless someone gets killed and the vampire sees it and then goes to the others and tells them, right? But I mean, aside from that, it seems realistic, right? That a vampire no doesn't necessarily know what all about vampires, right? 
they become vampires and then they are vampires and then they just keep on living as vampires but basically do the same stuff as humans just that they at times suck some blood and might make some offspring right <clears throat> and then the whole thing with Hatsuka and Ko where she's like yeah I can like brainwash you or, or manipulate you to love me and then I can turn you into a vampire and then this whole problem is resolved but Ko's like hey it's, it's not about it's not about gender or whatever it's about the person right he wants to be with Nazuna and he wants to become a vampire because of Nazuna and not in a different way so it definitely helped him to like reconfirm and get his determination back right and then especially after hearing that Nazuna might be in trouble and then he went, went after to Nico's place I don't know if that's Nico's place I just say it's Nico's place because Nico is there and <clears throat> from the moment Nico said that the, that Nazuna wouldn't be able to talk for a while I, <laughs> immediately I knew we know that she was probably talking about love right and he said, that's embarrassing for her and so it's completely embarrassing for her embarrassment overload because normally she just tries to <clears throat> not hear it or like um, talk way too loud or scream or whatever to like um, not hear it right <clears throat> To overshadow the talking of someone else but in this case she can't right she she had to talk she had to say it herself so she had to think about it and I would have loved to see that Nazna stumbling over her words and trying to talk about love how she feels not someone else's love or whatever but her love how she feels about Ko and all that stuff that must be extremely embarrassing for her I would have loved to see that <laughs> and yeah I mean it's very interesting that Nazana basically just lied to Ko right how to live through the night what to do at night and all that stuff which is basically what she would have liked to be and liked to do but she never did it which makes me wonder how she got to the point that she picked up Ko and no one else what did she thought was so special about him that she goes to him and does all that stuff with him if normally she like she said she was just like at home and <clears throat> was gaming or drank some booze and all that stuff right so basically she did nothing except the massage job on the side to make some money and suck some blood right but aside from that she just played games drank booze and all this stuff did some walks so what sparked her interest in Ko? I would love to know that. That she went this far for Ko and was this determined to show him the good time of night when she didn't even do it herself really. And yeah, I mean she definitely felt bad about it, right? I mean we know that since last episode. <clears throat> and then I mean Ko goes after her and talks with her and all about all that stuff and it was just perfect like the shot at the vending machine that was basically from episode one just with the roles reversed it was just perfect it was so amazing it was so good you could call it as soon as you saw the vending machine you you definitely probably knew already like it's gonna happen right they do that and it's still perfect <laughs> oh boy <clears throat> and like <clears throat> <clears throat> all the different shots in this episode like in the middle of the episode with the street and the water puddle or whatever stunning visually completely stunning then when Ko was running to Nazuna the different shots of the night perfect right it just looks so good this anime and then all the different scenes where you see like Akira and all the other characters right just nice little touches and then at the end, the whole dialogue between <clears throat> Ko and Nazuna, again, in my opinion, just perfect. With in between Nico talking about it, right? It was just amazing. <clears throat> and I just need a season two. It, it, I need a season two. I think I'm not sure, but I think 
I've heard that there is enough for a season two of the manga. So technically, they have en enough material to do a season two right now and they don't have to wait to make a season two for the source material to be like enough ahead so that they can do a season. So they technically should have enough material to do a season two right away. Technically, I think, I've heard. I need it. Badly. <laughs> I need it. <laughs> right now. I mean, I had it with Overlord. I need a season 5 for Overlord. Um, or even like Harem in the Labyrinth. A season 2 I wanted. Um, but this also, man, I just need a season 2. This was such a nice ending. But I want to see where it's going, right? It was a perfect ending to end the season. But I need more i need to know where it's going and if i can't get a season two i want i have to i don't want to i have to i want to but i also have to read the manga to get that shit but i hope for a season two i will wait a bit see if a season two gets announced hopefully in the next weeks of hopefully maybe days perfectly that would be perfectly if the next few days they're like yep yeah, season two here we go but if we don't get get any information about a season two, and I have to read the manga, I must. I I need information. I need to know where it's going because now we spiced it up enough, right? We know. We know, Nazna is in, right? No excuses anymore. She, she said it herself. She promises, she will become a vampire that is worth falling for. I need to see that shit. <laughs> I guess that won't be something that will happen immediately that she is suddenly super like uh what's the word? I don't know how I what the right word is for the sentence I want to make. Um I guess she won't be like immediately like all over co right and try her hardest <clears throat> to make that a reality, right? It will be a slow process, I guess she will still be like she always was, right? Because that's how she is and she's not into this romantic stuff, right? But I guess there will be, should be some changes in her personality, right? Otherwise they kind of stagnate, I would say. If all the effort comes from Ko and she stays the same way, right? Being embarrassed about love and everything and is basically like she, she was the rest of the season, right? So there should be some changes in her personality if she really wants to become a vampire that is worth falling for, which she needs to do if Ko is supposed to become a vampire. But overall, it was also like, <clears throat> nice to see like this episode basically also reconfirmed everything, right? It reconfirmed that Nazana is in love with Ko, obviously. It reconfirms that she is ready to fight the other vampires to keep him safe. It reconfirmed that Ko loves Nazana. It reconfirmed that Ko still loves the knight. And it, it reconfirmed that Ko is back again and wants to become a vampire, right? So it basically like reignited and reconfirmed everything and ended it all in this. And yeah, I just, like I said, I need more. It's just so good and like everything like the, like i said the visuals the music the characters the voice acting everything perfect in my opinion dude. this was a great anime and i need a season two i repeating myself here again um but yeah i guess that's basically all right oh boy um so yeah i guess that's all let me know what you think but yeah, if you like what you saw, leave a like, subscribe, or comment. And I would say thanks for watching, and until next time, bye-bye.